So you're having a bad day. You woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Stuff's just not going your way or you're just not feeling excited. What do you do? Wanna know what? Keep watching this video. This is the Jeremy G Show and welcome back. I'm Jeremy G and in this episode, I'm gonna show you, give you one small tip that's gonna help you get through anything really and help you make the best of any situation even if it's not perfect. See, life is not all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and pink elephants or whatever that phrase is. But some days are gonna be great and some days aren't. But sometimes there are certain tactics that you can use to your advantage to remind yourself that tomorrow can always be better. When I was trapped on a Vietnamese reality TV show, I struggled. It wasn't easy. There was nobody who could speak English. There was nothing familiar. I had friends, but they couldn't speak English, so I was basically all by myself. And it was tough. But one big takeaway that I got from this is that nothing is permanent. We all know this, right? We look up to the sky, we see the stars, the sunset. Those are reminders that we're so small in this big world and that nothing's permanent. But still, in our day-to-day -day life, we often forget this. We often go through life and we think that today is the most important thing or we think that this issue that we're dealing with or this project at work or this conversation that we're having is going to impact us in the grand scheme of things. But really, the important thing we need to do is to remind ourselves that nothing is permanent. We need to remind ourselves about the impermanence of life. That way, we can think about how this moment, right now I'm filming this video, but if something goes wrong, it's gonna pass on. If something happens, if I have pain, it's gonna end, everything ends. And as pessimistic as that kind of sounds, when we remind ourselves of the impermanence of life, we can take it with a grain of salt and know that this too shall pass. If we're not feeling happy, it's okay. We know that there's always tomorrow. If we're stuck in a situation that is painful or it's awkward or we're just not feeling it, we're not exciting, it's easy to get caught up in it and get frustrated or get down on yourself or maybe get anxious. But if we remind ourselves that it's not permanent, then we can remember that it's gonna end soon. And we can remind ourselves that we have something better waiting for us. So a good example of this is when I was on this TV show, it was, it was really challenging. And I go more in depth about this topic in my book, Faking Fame, but really every single day was a challenge. And I was on it for 25 days. And you may be thinking, okay, 25 days is not that long. But the reality is that time slows down when things are very challenging and when you're in times of pain. For example, if you were to take a big chunk of ice and place it on the back of your neck or your forehead, time would f move by slower. You'd feel like it was on your head or back of your neck for a pretty long time because it's uncomfortable. If you were to sit in silence, time moves pretty slow. 10, 20, 30 minutes seems like a lifetime. And that can be pretty stressful in certain situations. And when you're dealing with life, the struggles of life are serious, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, we, we experience pain, we feel sad, things happen, we get emotional. But when we remind ourselves that it's nothing permanent, reminding yourself that it's okay, this is going to pass, tomorrow's going to happen, and that's going to be a completely different day, then it's a constant way that you can just continue to live life and take it as it comes, but not let anything sit with you permanently, because nothing is permanent. So with that, I'm gonna go enjoy this sunset here in Tel Aviv. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more, please subscribe. I've got this book coming out. Click the link below in the description. And that's all, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, namaste.